press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello everyone, welcome to the part 10th of the chapter, Sequence on Series. Yes, today I am here to continue the same, that is what exercise 9.3. Uh, in the last session, we talked about, uh, I think, 29th one, last one, I mean, last problem we have discussed was 29th, right? So, now let us move to uh, 30th one, that is, 30th one is like this. The number of bacteria in a certain culture doubles every hour. If there are 30 bacteria in the beginning, I mean, originally, how many bacteria will be present at the end of second hour and fourth hour and also nth hour? Here the question is, Initially, number of bacteria is equal to 30 originally in the culture, okay, okay. So, number of bacteria originally is equal to 30. So, here number of bacteria doubles every hour. You mean after at the end of first hour, okay. If 30 is the number of bacteria in the beginning, in the beginning, at the end of first hour, it doubles. You mean it becomes 60, right? At the end of second hour, again it doubles. You mean 60 doubles, you will get 120 and so on. Okay, so you get the answer, that is what at the end of second hour you get 120. See this is number of bacteria originally, you mean in the beginning, at the end of first hour you get 60, at the end of second hour you get 120. You observe here, at the end of 60, at, I mean at the end of first hour you get second term, right? At the end of first hour you get second term, at the end of uh, second hour you get third term, right? So that and so on. So here, uh, so we have to find, you have to, I mean we have to find the answer, I mean solution uh, using uh, a geometric progression. Here you can observe here number of bacteria doubles every hour. You mean the sequence of numbers becomes a GP, right? So, solution. So, number of bacteria originally is equal to 30, okay. Since number of bacteria doubles every hour, doubles every hour, the sequence of numbers, sequence of numbers sequence of numbers is a GP with with a is what I am going to take first term as 30 and r becomes what? So, here number of bacteria doubles every hour, no? So, I am going to take r is 2, okay? So, now at the end of first hour, so number of bacteria, number of bacteria at the end of at the end of first hour. So, in the beginning number of bacteria is 30, at the end of first hour it becomes doubles, it, I mean it doubles now, so it becomes 60. So, 60 is nothing but what? I can write 30 into, since it is a second term, right? At the end of first hour means it is second term, I am going to write this one as 30 into, so r that is 2 power of 2 minus 1, okay? Now, in the same way, number of bacteria, number of bacteria at the end of, at the end of second hour, second hour in the sense it is third term, right? This is originally, this is after first end, after first hour, I mean at the end of first hour, this is at the end of a second hour, you mean third term. So, I am going to write this one as, yes, 120, that is what, uh, 30 into Yes, no need to write 120, can write directly. So, 30 into uh, 2 power of 2 minus 1 if it is 60. Here also, this is third term, you mean 30 into 2 power of 3 minus 1, right? So, you get uh, what? 120. So, 4 into 30. In the same way, see, observe here, at the end of first hour, you get second term. At the end of second hour, you get third term. In the same way, in the same way, number of bacteria bacteria 
at the end of at the end of fourth hour fourth hour in the sense fifth term right so you get 30 into 2 power of 5 minus 1 even nothing but 2 power of 4 that's it so you get what you get so 30 into s yes, 2 power of 4 that is 16 right so 480 at the end of fourth hour right you mean fifth term that is what 480 therefore in the same way number of bacteria number of bacteria at the end of at the end of nth hour so observe here at the end of first hour you get you you will you will, i mean at the end of first hour in the sense you get second term at the end of second hour third term at the end of fourth hour fifth term so at the end of nth hour n plus 1th term that is what you get 13 to 13 to 2 power of n plus 1 minus 1 right so because here in the second term 3 minus 1 in the first term 2 minus 1 in the fourth hour in the fourth hour 5 minus 1 right so in the same way at the nth hour n plus 1 minus 1 you get you get 30 into 2 power of n is the required answer this is what number of bacteria at the end of nth hour. Once again students, a simple one. See here originally in the beginning number of bacteria is equal to 30. Number of bacteria doubles every hour. It means the sequence of numbers becomes a GP, right? With A, I mean first term is 30 and R is equal to 2 because it doubles every hour. R can write like this. Number of bacteria at the end of first hour. So in the beginning if it is 30, at the end of second hour, it be, uh, at the end of first hour it becomes 60 doubles. So, that is what second term now. So, I am going to write 30 into 2 power of 2 minus 1, second term 2 minus 1. Or you can write 30 into 2 power of 1, okay, first hour. At the end of second hour, at the end of second hour, it becomes third term. So, I am going to take, I am going to write 30 into 2 power of 3 minus 1, so 120. So, in the same way, at the end of fourth hour, you mean it becomes th fifth term. So, so, 30 into 2 power of 5 minus 1. So that is what you get 480. In the same way, number of bacteria at the end of nth hour becomes what? 13 to 2 power n plus 1 minus 1 because you observe here in the case of fourth term you get 5 here. You mean 4 plus 1. In the same way, if we if we have nth hour, you will get n plus 1 minus 1. Hope you got it. So this is what the required answer that is 13 to 2 power of n is the required answer. Okay, let us move on to the question number 31st. So, 31st is like this, what will be, what will be rupees 500 amounts, amounts to amounts to in 10 years, in 10 years after its, after its deposit in a bank, after its deposit in a bank, which pays, an, which pays which pays annual interest, annual 
interest rate of annual interest rate of 10 percent 10 percent compounded compounded annually a simple one it is also uh, a simple question related to GP right. Yes, sir. what will be rupees 500 amounts to in 10 years after it is deposited in a bank which pays an annual interest rate of 10 percent compounded annually. A person deposited rupees 500 initially in a bank, okay, right, yes in a bank assume a person deposited rupees 500 initially at the bank. Now, a bank is paying an interest of 10 percent annually, compound interest of 10 percent. You mean what do you mean by compound interest? Compound interest is an interest on a loan or deposit and it can be calculated based on both the initial amount and the accumulated interest from uh, previous periods, right. This is what uh, the compound interest. Here, here uh, interest is, I mean, uh, yes, annual interest bank is paying an annual interest of 10 percent every year right annual in the sense every year. Then if it pays an interest of 10 percent a compound interest of 10 percent every year what will be I mean what will be the amount after 10 years that is the question hope you got it ok. Once again initial amount I mean amount deposited uh, in a bank initial that is what of rupees 500 here bank is paying an interest of and compound interest of Rupees, sorry, 10 percent, 10 percent annually in mean after, I mean uh, uh, after every year. So, then what will be the amount after 10 years? That is a question, ok. So, now solution. So, amount deposited, amount deposited. amount in the origin or amount deposited initially is equal to rupees 500 right ok. So, now uh, let me calculate interest for one year right. So, interest interest for one year. So, let me use the formula that is what PTR by 100 uh, P means principal amount that is what 500 into time 1 year uh, into R 10 percent divided by uh, 100. So, you get 50 rupees 50 is interest after 1 year right. right? So, interest after 1 year is equal to rupees 50. So, your second amount becomes I mean, I mean at the end of first hour. So, you get an amount of 500 plus 50 you get 550. So, I mean amount is increased by 50 rupees that is what at the end of first year. So, amount will be uh, 550, so 500 plus 50 550. So, now we can calculate R now therefore, since uh, uh, amount is increased but I mean uh, here uh, um, is, uh, a bank is paying an interest of 10 percent every year. So, uh, uh, the sequence of uh, amounts will be a GP with R is equal to. So, so, R can be calculated as, so first term is 500, second term is 550, right. So, 550 by 500, so you get what 1.1, so you get R is 1.1, you mean the amount is increased by 1 by 1.1 times after every year, right, because R we have 1.1, so amount is increased by 1.1 times after every hour, every year sorry, every year. So, now, uh, so I can write now after the first year, I mean at the end of first year, yes, what do you have to find? Uh, what will be rupees amount uh, after 10 years, uh, right? Yes, at the end of first year, at the end of first year, you get an amount what? 500 into 1.1 power of 2 minus 1. See, at the end of first year in the sense, if the 500 is the initial amount, it becomes the first term, 550 becomes the second term and so on. So, at the end of first year, 
you are going to calculate what second hour, right? Second hour, uh, sorry, second term, therefore I can write 500 into 1.1 power of 2 minus 1. So, this gives what? Uh, rupees 550. In the same way, at the end of, at the end of a second hour, sorry, second year is equal to, what do you get? Second year in the sense it will become third term, right? So, 500 into, right, 1.1 1 .1 whole power of 3 minus 1. What do you get? I think 655, right? 1.1, 1 .1 500 into 1.1 1 .1 whole square. Okay, so you get what? 1.1 1 .1 whole square. So, 605, right? So, 605 is what? 605 will be the amount at the end of second hour, at the end of second hour. The same way and hence, in general, at the end of, at the end of 10 years, after, after 10 years or at the end of 10 years, at the end of 10 years, so your amount will be equal to what? 500 into 1.1 1 .1 power of 11 minus 1 okay so for second hour it becomes third term for uh, for second year it becomes third term for 10th year it becomes 11th term so this gives 500 into 1.1 1 .1 whole power of 10 this is the required answer you can calculate this or uh, put it as like as, as it is okay hope you got this hope you got this right Okay, now let us move on to the last question of this exercise. If AM and GM of 31st, if AM and GM of roots of a quadratic equation. quadratic equation or or 8 and 5 respectively then obtain then obtain the quadratic equation obtain the quadratic equation Okay, the question is uh, AM and GM of roots of a quadratic equation. Yes, quadratic equation will have two roots, right? So, let us assume they are A and B. Let us assume the roots of a required quadratic equations are A and B. AM of those two numbers A and B is given that is what? A 8 and GM of those two numbers is given that is 5. If AM and GM of the roots are given 8 and 5 respectively, what, for what will be the numbers? Or what will be the required quadratic equation? So, if you know the uh, sum of roots and product of roots, you can obtain a quadratic equation, right? So, let me find those uh, the numbers A and B, okay? So, uh, let, let the numbers be or the roots be, roots be A and B, okay? And hence, and hence they have given AM. So, 
a plus b by 2 am of those two numbers is 0 is equal to 8 and gm of those two numbers that is what root of a b is equal to uh, 5. So, this gives a plus b is equal to 16 and this gives a b is equal to 25 squaring on both sides right. Therefore, your required equation what? Required equation is what? So, we know the standard form of required equation that is what? x square minus sum of roots right into x plus product of product of roots that is equal to 0. This is your standard form of a quadratic equation. So, x square minus sum of roots is 16 minus sorry plus 25 is equal to 0. This is your required equation quadratic equation x square minus 16 x plus 25 equal to 0. So, this completes uh, exercise 9.3. Now, let us move, move on to uh, the last concept of this chapter that is what sum to n terms of some special series. So, and this is important for uh, examination because uh, there will be a former question every year. I mean, there will be a compulsory question from, from this concept every year. Okay. So, here we are going to talk about uh, sum of sum to n terms of some special series, special series in the sense like uh, yes, sum to n terms of some special series. For example, uh, yes, special series like this 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on n sum of n terms of this sequence in the same way 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and so on n square sum of first n square natural numbers is equal to what and uh, 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 and so on it is also a special series we have and one more example 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus uh, 3 into 4 into 5 and so on. So, like this we have many uh, cases like this. So, then what will be the sum to n terms of the series of the given series using uh, in the GP concept right. Okay, let me find this value. Okay, let me I think hope you uh, I mean you are um, familiar in the result that sum of n terms of sum of first n natural numbers you mean 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on till n right. It can be calculated using AP concept because it is an AP right with first from A that is what 1 and D is 1 right D is also 1 right. Okay. So, and we have first term let me consider this one as the last term Sn sum of all terms is equal to n by 2 into a plus l right by knowing first and last term. So, you get n by 2 into what is a? a is 1 plus n last time I am going to take n. So, you get n into n plus 1 by 2 this gives what sum of first n natural numbers sum of first n natural numbers for example, sum of first 4 natural numbers 4 into 4 plus 1 by 2 you get the answer sum of first 5 natural numbers 5 into 5 5 plus 1 by 2 sum of first 10 natural numbers 10 into 10 plus 1 by 2 gives the answer sum of first 100 natural numbers 100 into 101 by 2 you get get the I mean gives the answer ok. So, so uh, remember this so n into n plus 1 by 2 is a required answer I mean sum of first n terms of uh, sum of first n natural numbers right. In the same way we are going to find the value for hope you discussed before that uh, sum of first n square natural numbers is equal to what in the same way sum of first n cubic natural numbers is equal to what and so on. Now, let me find the values using uh, uh, this uh, sequence and series ok. So, there will be a question find find the sum of you mean S n is equal to S yes, this important question uh, for the purpose of examination also. What is the value of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and so on n square ok. Let me find the value of this. This for this I am going to use a result that uh, using a minus b whole cube. So, we know that a minus b whole cube is equal to what? 
सो ए माइनस बी होल क्यूब इज इक्वल टू ए क्यू माइनस बी क्यूब माइनस थ्री ए बी इंटू ए माइनस बी राइट आर यू कैन राइट ए क्यू माइनस बी क्यूब माइनस थ्री ए बी प्लस सॉरी माइनस थ्री ए स्क्वायर बी प्लस थ्री ए बी स्क्वायर राइट ठीक है सो यूजिंग दिस आई कैन राइट इन जनरल फॉर आई एम गोन राइट फॉर इन सैड ऑफ के एंड ए एंड बी एम गोन टू के एंड वन सो वी हैव रिजल्ट के क्यू माइनस के माइनस वन होल क्यू इज इक्वल टू थ्री के स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री के प्लस वन सेम एज दिस यू मीन के माइनस वन होल क्यूब यू डू यू गेट द सेम थिंग एंड टेक के क्यूब लेफ्ट साइड और के माइनस वन होल क्यूब राइट साइड एंड द रीज दीज टर्म्स लेफ्ट साइड यू गेट दिस आंसर राइट ओके राइट सो दिस इज वॉट के क्यूब माइनस के माइनस वन होल क्यूब इज इक्वल टू थ्री के स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री के प्लस वन यू गेट सी k माइनस वन होल क्यूब इज वॉट के क्यूब माइनस वन क्यूब माइनस थ्री ए बी इंटू के माइनस वन राइट सो यू गेट वॉट के क्यूब माइनस वन माइनस थ्री के स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री के सो यू टेक थ्री के स्क्वायर थ्री के वन लेफ्ट साइड के माइनस वन राइट साइड यू गेट दिस ओके ना टू गेट द सम ऑफ फर्स्ट एन स्क्वायर नेचुरल नंबर्स वी यूज दिस रिजल्ट so now i'm what i'm going to do let me take the values k is equal to 1 2 till n okay if k is 1 what happens if k is equal to 1 right if k is equal to 1 you get here 1 cube minus 0 cube is equal to 3 into 1 square minus 3 into 1 plus 1 if k is 2 2 cube Minus one cube because k two minus one is one, so three into uh, k square two square minus three into two plus one. In the same way, if k is three, this is k is two. When k is three, you get what? Three cube minus three minus one two cube is equal to three into three square minus three into three plus one, and so on. If k is equal to n. So n cube, n minus one whole cube is equal to three into n square minus three into n plus one. Now I'm going to add all these things. So observe here, one cube minus one cube, two cube minus one two cube get cancelled. Here also observe here when we uh, here uh, two two one one and so on it get cancelled, right? So how are they? I mean, uh, in the sense, uh, here we have n cube, n cube. No, so in the previous term you will get n cube, right? So uh, this get cancelled, no? Sorry, this get cancelled, no? N minus one whole cube. Here we have n minus one. So two cube, two cube. If it, if it is n, it becomes n minus one. So here also you will get n minus one whole cube, right? So it get cancelled, right? Okay. So now. Right. So what is it mean? So n cube minus zero cube, and adding you get n cube minus zero cube plus. I am going to add the first terms. Uh, I am going to take three outside. You get what? One square plus two square, and so on. N square, and here minus three into one. I am going to add all these things. So minus three, minus three I am going to take outside. One plus two plus till n. And last term, that is what one one one. I mean, adding one n times, so, so you get n. Okay, so now you get so what n cube is equal to three into one square plus two square plus three square and so on till n square. Minus three into one plus two plus and n plus n. So 
let me take this left side, you get 3 into, I am going to write this as summation k is equal to 1 to n, so k square, can I? k is equal to 1, 1 square plus 2 square and so on. This is equal to, this is equal to, so let me, let me take these two terms left side, so n cube plus 3 into, 3 into, what is this sum of first n natural numbers, n into n plus 1 by 2 minus n. So, these two terms taken left side, n cube, okay, n cube plus, it becomes plus, if you take this left side, it becomes plus 3 into this sum of first n natural numbers minus n. So, on simplification, you get what? Uh, 2 I am going to take LCM. So, 2 n cube plus 3 n square plus 3 n minus 2 n. Okay. So, you get what? Uh, 3 into summation k is equal to 1 to n, that is what we, we are going to find. k is nothing but 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square till n square. Uh, is equal to 2n cube plus 3n square plus n by 2. I am going to take n outside. If you take n outside, what do you get? n into 2n square plus 3n plus 1. So, on uh, factorizing this, you get what to, uh, so yeah, 2 no, so 2 1s are right. So, you get n into 2n square plus 2n plus n plus 1 by 2, okay. So, now you get what? So, n into, you get n into, here you get the factors when you take 2 n outside. So, n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1. So, n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 2. This is what? 3 times of summation k is equal to 1 to n k square. So, summation k is equal to 1 to n k square is equal to taken 3 here. So, you get n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6, 3 to the 6. That means, summation from k is equal to 1 to n k square nothing but 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and so on plus n square is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6. This is your required answer and it is important for the purpose of examination, you may get for 4 mark. Okay. Now, so they ask, find the sum, sum to n terms of the series 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and so on till n square. Okay. Question is like this, find the sum to n terms of the series 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and so on till n square. Let us move on to uh, another example. This is about uh, sum of first n square natural numbers. In the same way, you can uh, uh, find this uh, sum of first n cubic natural numbers. I mean 1 cube top plus 2 cube plus 3 cube and so on till n cube gives the answer it is what n into n plus 1, n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square or you can write n square into n plus 1 whole square whole divided by 4 will be the answer. You can try uh, take it as take it as 
homework right ok now let us move uh, to one more uh, special uh, question special series and it is very important for the purpose of examination right. So, si uh, find the sum to n terms of the series find find the sum to n terms of the series of the series the series 5 plus 11 plus 19 plus 29 plus 41 and so on. Okay, students, you observe uh, here the sequence. It is neither JP nor AP, right? And we don't have any. I mean, it has it has no any uh, visual, visual pattern, right? So anyway, we have to find the sum of the terms. Okay, let me find. Yes, what is the sum of 5 plus 11 plus 19 plus 29 plus 41 till n terms? N terms. Okay, now uh, let me write. Yes, S yes, n is equal to what? 5 plus 11 plus 19 plus 29 plus 41 and so on. Here the last term is a n. Uh, before that, uh, a n minus 1, right? This is the previous one. Okay. I am going to write once again S n. I am going to uh, I am going to change some order. I mean, I am going to write 5 below the 5, I mean below the 11, your 5 plus 11 plus 19 and so on uh, and hence uh, you get a n minus 2 below n minus 1, right? Plus here you get a n minus 1 plus a n. Observe the difference, okay? See, I, uh, I mean I left this and I have written the first term below the second term, okay? So now, I am going to subtract in this order S n minus S 1 you get 0, phi is minus nothing I am going to write phi as it is plus 11 minus phi 6 you get plus 19 minus 11 you get 8 plus 29 minus 19 you get 10 and so on you get next term 12, 14 and so on plus here uh, this minus this no need right this minus this no need right. So, last you get minus C n, right? Uh, I am before that, before that. So, now, so I am finding the difference of these two, these numbers, right? Okay. So, then how many terms we have here in between this? So, n minus 1 terms, n minus 1 terms, and the last is a minus, a n minus, a, I mean minus a n. For example, uh, let me take uh, 6 terms 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 and I am going to take the same series in the, in, in the second order that is what 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. If you neglect this and this, if you consider this, so difference of these two first term, second term, third term, fourth term, five. you mean there will be total 6 terms no. So, you will get 5 terms mean n minus 1 terms, here you get n minus 1 term that is it. If you consider n terms, here you get n minus 1 terms like this. I have taken 6 terms, again I have written the same term 6 terms in the second order in this order and uh, you get the terms number of terms in between these two is n minus 1. Okay. Now, we observe here we have an AP right, e 6 plus 8 plus 10 till we have I mean uh, we have n minus 1 terms. So, that is what AP. So, let us use that. So, let us take minus a n left side, you get plus a n, 5 plus, yes, sum of uh, n minus 1 terms. So, n by 2 summation, of, I mean formula to find n terms of a p, n by 2 into 2 a plus n minus 1 into d, right, n by 2, what is n? n minus 1. So, n minus 1 by 2 into 2 a, yes, 2 into a, a is what 6, 2 a plus n minus 1 minus 1. This is n minus 1, right? 
n minus 1 into d, d is 2. Hope you got this once again, n by 2, n is what n minus 1 here, n by 2 into 2a, 2 into 6, 12 plus n minus 1 into d, n means what n minus 1, n minus 1 minus 1 into d, d is 2, 8 minus 6, hope you got this. So, you get what? 5 plus n minus 1 by 2 into 12 plus uh, 2n minus uh, minus 2 uh, 4 you get right or you get what 5 plus 2 1s are so 12 minus 4 8 so 4s are so n minus 1 into uh, 2n plus 4. dividing by 2 right. So, here you get 8, 8 plus 2 n. No? So, when you take uh, uh, 2 outside, so 4 plus n, 4 plus n 2 to get cancelled, you get this. So, you get 5 plus n square uh, minus n plus 4 n plus 3 n, right. So, here uh, 4 into n, 4 n minus 1 into n minus n. So, you get uh, plus 3 n, so minus 4 or you get a n is equal to n square plus 3 n plus 1. Okay. This is what we have got uh, nth term of uh, this series, we have got nth term. I mean when n is 1, 1 square plus 3 into 1 plus 1, you get first term 5. When n is 2, you get the second term 11. When n is 3, you get the third term that is it. So, anyway we have got a nth term. So, we have to find the sum of all the terms, it is very simple. So, we know that what S1 is what actually sum of first term, you mean sum of first term that is what A1, S2 is what sum of first two terms A1 plus A2, right. S3 is what A1 plus A2 plus A3, in the same way Sn is what, Sn is what A1 plus A2 plus and so on till An, right. So, that is what we have to find. So, we are S n in the sense, S n is equal to summation, summation from k is equal to 1 to n to a k. When k is 1, a 1, when k is 2 plus a 2, k is 3 plus a 3, k is 4 plus a 4 and so on, when k is n plus a is the sum, is the sum, is the required answer. So, now this is equal to summation of k is equal to 1 to n, what is a k? I mean a n, we have k square plus 3 k plus 1, okay. So, this is equal to, this is equal to a summation k is equal to 1 to n k square plus 3 into summation k is equal to 1 to n k plus this is what 1 is added n times, you will get n. 1 is added n times, summation of 1 when k is equal to 1 to n in the sense 1 is added n times, so therefore, I am going to write n, okay. Now, this gives, so what is summation of uh, first, I mean sum of first n square natural numbers, right, I mean when k is equal to 1 to n in the sense 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square till k, n square. So, you get, just we have found n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6, right. Here 3 into, what is summation of first n terms, I mean sum of your first n natural numbers, n into n plus 1 by 2 plus n. Hope you got this, when k is equal to 1 to n in the sense, so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 till n, sum of first n natural numbers, okay. So, now, So, let me uh, simplify this. Yes, I am going to take n outside. If you take n outside, what is remained? n plus 1 
into 2n plus 1 by 6 plus 3 into n plus 1 by 2 plus 1. Let me simplify this. So, n into 6 is LCM. Let me multiply this, you get what? 2n square, 2n into 1, 1 into n. So, you get 3n plus 1, right? Here. So, 2 3s are no 3 into this. So, you get uh, 3 into 3 3 is a 9, no? So, 9 n plus 9, right? Hope you got this. 2 3 is a 3 into this. 9 n plus 9 plus 6, okay? You get n into 2 n square plus 3 n plus uh, 9 n, you get uh, 12 n plus 16 by 6. Let me divide by uh, 2, you get 1s are 3s are. So, n by 3, 2 taken outside and get cancelled. What is the mean? n square plus 6n plus 8, right? So, 4 2s are. So, you get n by 3 into n square plus 4n plus 2n plus 8, you get n by 3, n into n plus 4 plus n in, uh, 2 into n plus 4. So, you get the required answer as n into n plus 2 into n plus 4 by 3 is the required answer of this series. You mean n into n plus 2 into n plus 4 whole divided by 3 gives the answer. When I mean sum of first term, I mean when n is equal to 1, when n is equal to 1, you observe here 1 plus 2, 3, 3, 3 get cancelled. So, 1 plus 4, that you get 5, sum of first term. When n is 2, in place of n you take 2, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 8, 8 plus uh, you get 6, right? 6, 3 1s are 3 2s are. So, 8 2s are. So, when n is 2, you get 2 plus 2 4, 2 plus 6 you get 3. So, you get 1s are 2s are. So, 2 4s are 8, 8 2s are 16. So, 5 plus 11 16, sum of 2 terms 16. In the same way, uh, when n is equal to 3, you, you substitute n in place of n is equal to 3, you get sum of first to 3 terms and so on. So, for this series, sum of n terms is given by n into n plus 2 into n plus 4 by 3. It is very simple students. In the examination, uh, you can directly write this answer after this step. After this step, you can write directly this answer because it is a 4 mark question now or else you can complete this till n, 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 n into n plus 2 into n plus 4 by uh, 3. Okay. So, this is about uh, a special series and it is most important. Okay. Okay, students, this completes uh, part 10. In the, in the next class, uh, I am going to discuss uh, exercise 9.4. Okay. Thank you.